Hello and welcome to another pro breakdown. This match is going to be between Sandstorm and Boomy. Let me um, make this a bit bigger. There we go. Now this is from Brawl League as it says right here at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and mute the casters as always. This is the second pro breakdown. I got a lot of good tips from, um, uh, I forget how to say the guy's name. I believe it was Amid. I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But we're just going to call him Amid uh, on Reddit. So thank you for that. I apologize if I got the wrong name. I forgot to write the name down before I started this recording. So I do apologize for that. But I will reach out to you personally and thank you for that as well. And uh, so I did go through, through and pre-watch this match. Now we are um, going to just be breaking down uh, what happens here in this first set. Because I found the first set of uh, or the first doc first uh, game here. Particularly interesting in how the match starts, and I think this is a big thing uh, in lower levels as far as how you go about the start of your matches and then how you adjust throughout a set. Um, now, this doesn't particularly uh, apply as much at lower levels, maybe more in, in gold or plat, but hopefully this this can kind of help out across all ranks. Um, just noticing things I would want you to look for, uh, notice the, the speed, at which they, they, they fight each other and, you know, at the feet, at the speed of which they are aggressing and taking position towards each other in this match. It was very interesting to see these two play styles match up. This is, um, again, Sandstorm versus Boomy, as you can probably see in the top of the corner there. This was NA Losers, and this is um, from Brawl League. Uh, so here we go. I'm just going to start this, and we're going to get going. Now, like I said, it is muted. I, uh, I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll start at like 50%. So you see they both get the weapon here. Actually, let's back this up a little bit. Yeah. Back it up a little bit. All right, here we are. Just slowed it down just so we make sure you see the beginning. Sans dashes up and then fakes and then goes for the weapon and gets up before Boomy. So he wins the weapon. Boomy gets a little bit of recovery damage there. And right there, Boomy goes underneath the, the, the stage there because you can recover from under the stage right there. And it's really good. Now, Sands is, like, looking for uh, a way to get started here, but he's not finding it. Boomy is taking his time, but is also close to Sands. Uh, so, it makes it hard for Sandstorm to really find damage here. If you notice, he hasn't almost hardly even got an attack until just now, and we're, we're, we're 20 seconds into the match at that point before he really gets some damage. Uh, and not even that much at that po at this point. Boomy is, is ahead a little bit wise in damage. Now, here's a very smart play from Boomy um, as far as... Making sure that you find unique ways to get back on stage. That's one thing, especially at lower levels, most people just initially, they go straight back up right towards the stage. That's a real big thing you want to look for. You'll always see pros trying to find the safest way back to stage. But back to space in here, you see Boomy reads the, the, the cigarette there, gets a nice punish. Sam with the gauntlets is trying to put on uh, damage. By the way, Sands is short for Sandstorm, just in case anyone gets confused. Um... Right there, it goes for Gravity Cancel. Gravity Cancels are very important in this game. If at lower levels, if you don't understand Gravity Cancels, that's definitely some, something you should look into. Boomy not scared to take the fight with his hands is now trying to hold middle position here. No, notice that, notice this. He's trying to hold middle position. And let's, let's back that up a little bit. I know this is a bit of com a common thing, but maybe at lower levels would be definitely helpful. Right here, Boomy gets the hit. Sandthorn throws the gauntlets to make room, catches his gauntlets, gets, gets put up in the air. And right here, gravity cancels and throws the weapon again. This is creating space for him to try to get down. Now, it doesn't work. Boomy reads this and gets the signature. But note that Sandstorm was, I believe, out of recoveries and jumps. And this is very important to use all your assets that you have. Your weapon, your throws, your jumps, recoveries, anything you can. Now, look, Sands right there is spot dodging on the spot, expecting Boomy to do um, a neutral uh, light at that point. But... Boomy rereads this and actually just waits, and that's kind of brilliant. Sans here getting the weapon, and Boomy like trying to keep space here above him, um, and trying to poke down at him because the the spear has a very nice, uh, downward poke um, from the air. So that's what he's looking for there. Now Sans really wants to take this fight out onto the air. A, uh, Boomy is in red and is killable from a pro standard, at least I would say, and um. B, it gives you more control. But here you see Boomy comes back with another good way to get onto the stage. Again, going towards the inside where it's a little 
a little more room to work with here. So again, going for it. Sans tries to punish it this time. This is the second time in a row. So Sans trying to punish this. Gets a nice weapon throw right there. That weapon throw creates space, but also stops Boomy from moving. You have to understand how important it is to stop your opponent from moving. This is a great read by Sand right there. Uh, Sandstorm doing a good job with that read. Throws the weapon, picks up the scythe, goes for the side stick, can't find it. Boomy trying to make sure he can save space. Boomy likes to play more aggressive, but as you can see in this match against the scythe, he's, he's respecting the scythe's ability to grab. Right here, playing so slow, baiting in the signature, looking, just taking his time. This is a key in Brahalla. Taking your time is one of the biggest things that you can learn at a lower level is to not be so impatient. Like there's times to attack and there's times not to attack. And that was one of those times. Sans getting a nice grab here, trying to read Boomy coming back to the stage. But not notice that Sans stayed on top in top in front of um, Boomy the entire time, trying to find any way to knock him off stage. It's very important to learn and understand how you want to move with your particular weapon to get get the knockout there. Now note that Boomy is still, you know, ahead a good bit in this match. He he is still up, um, you know, white to orange, I guess you could say at this moment. So he's definitely winning. So what you would expect here is is for Boomy to be super aggressive, as you see right there, right at the start. He's ready to fight. He's not worried about a weapon. But what this does is because Sans is behind and he's looking for what he what what Sandstorm wants here is free damage. And 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 if Boomy can trade hit for hit here, he wins. So at this point, you know, all he needs to do is trade hit for hit. So Sans is looking for uh, any way to knock him off the stage. Um, Sandstorm here getting a nice hit. Now, luckily for Sandstorm, uh, at least in my opinion, I say the Scythe can be very good at lower lower damages against lower damage part people and can help you really get them off the stage. Now, they both go for weapon throws here, which is interesting. They both get it back because they're both close. But Sans is keeping Boomy on the edge. And now look at this. He's always got one grab down. He's got a second grab. And there you go. That's a stock. That, that's how easy it is. Um, it looks easy, but it's not actually that easy. But that's reading and timing and understanding positioning on the field. That's something at lower levels, you, you know, you see a lot of people just running around. Uh, Sandstorm staying patient here on the edge and holding the edge very well and finally getting what I would consider uh, almost a free stock at that point. It wasn't really hit. Now, how Boomer reacts to this, this is, this is where probes are made. How you react, how you recover, how you adapt to your opponent. Getting a nice signature here might be enough to actually knock him off. I can't remember. Nope, he just makes it back. Boomy actually got very unlucky with the hit boxes, right? The hurt boxes right there. So that's interesting. Now he's trying to hit the six because Hatori uh, six can be a very spammable. Unfortunately, the, the timing that he's using versus you know the neutral light of the Scythe is not working out well for Boomy, and actually he is in a good bit of trouble at this point. If, the, if that would have hit, he probably was down to like one recovery, I think. Um, as you see, Boomy's actually now being more aggressive and that's with, 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 with his attacks because he needs to drop, he needs to make Sandstorm drop this, this life here, and it, it's not happening. Again, you see Sandstorm playing so calmly, hitting his dodges, understanding what his opponent's going to do, and patiently, patiently, methodically working his way back and as you can see now now now, now the tables are turned it went from sandstorm down white to orange to boomy being down white to orange and sometimes patience is the key typically patience movement and understanding are the key here boomy trying to get a throw in to create distance he's having a hard time closing the gap between no man's land which is where you're trying to attack um get into your opponent's face to attack them but sans is playing patient same back and getting just a couple hits there, here and there, and that adds up at this point. At this point, a couple hits can can mean the end of the game. And as you see, Sans is that's two damage, but again, creating space, slowing down the gameplay. This is very important, especially against something like Sword, where swords can play very, very fast. They're very versatile weapons. But there you go. Sans took his time. Sandsworm uh, took his time there and uh, was able to get the knockout. And uh, it's very important to understand that you don't always have to be attacking. Um, this is actually the replay by, by in, in the game here. Um, let's see, this was at 3-2. to two, And this was very important. He gets the grab, knocks him off, gets past the stock. That's important. But not only did he get past the stock, right here, not moments later, he takes another stock. It's important not to get caught up in the fact that you're behind one life. It's important what you do moving forward. This is, uh, I believe, the last knockout here with the showing. 
Um, again, just now that he has a lead saying comedy controlled, very important, and this helps at any level. Um, but hopefully, this this breakdown helped help people understand the timings and the breakdown of of spacing and and like I said, timing, uh, along with a couple other factors. I would imply for you to please look through this again on your own time if you would like. You can find the original at Brawl, Brawl League uh, on YouTube. Um, Thank you so much uh, for the support on the last video. It was actually amazing, and I, I never expected that many people to actually even look at the video. Um, so thank you to, for that, and actually a big thank you to Reddit um, for uh, all their help um, with the ideas going for these kind of videos. Um, so thank you so much for that. Um, hopefully more content will be out weekly. Uh, that, that is the plan, maybe a little bit sooner. Um, but I hope you enjoyed, and I uh, can't wait to hear your, your uh, thoughts on this uh, episode. And uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, this is Black Cat 975 signing out. Have a good night.